Hello, today we will be going over how to create a facial rig. Um, this is my first tutorial so I apologise if there are parts that aren't really that clear but if you just leave a comment I will try and get back to you as soon as possible. Uh, okay, so in this tutorial we will be going over how to create blend shapes and add them to your 3D character. We will also be adding a joint chain to the face with a jaw control. Um, I won't be going over paint weighting, so if you aren't really sure how to paint weight, I suggest you watch a tutorial on that before watching this one. Um, we will also cover eye constraints to make your eyes rotate using a control curve. And lastly, we will be going over using the set driven key tool to attach the blend shapes to control curves making it easier for the animator to um, animate the character. So let's get started. So to begin with what I've got here is my actual model itself which is made up of the mesh for the face and then two eyes and then I've also just quickly modelled four blend shapes, which we'll be adding to it later. Um, for your character, you can model as many blend shapes as you want, but for the purposes of this tutorial, I'm just going to stick with these four. Um, the way I made these blend shapes was quite simple. I just duplicated my mesh, um, translated it across to the side, and then using the soft mud tool, um, which you find just here, um, just clicking, let me go on to default quality, uh, clicking where you want to deform and just deforming it like this. You can, holding B will increase and decrease your brush size. You can also rotate and scale. simple as that really. So to begin with what we'll do is just put everything in separate layers just to make everything neat and tidy. So we'll select all the blend shapes, shift select, and uh, click on this icon here which is the add selected to new layer. Double click on that and just name that layer blend shapes. Save. Now we'll just hide them for the time being so we don't need them. Now we'll select all of this mesh here and again add a new layer, add selected, double click on that and call this the uh, mesh layer. Save. Okay then, so the first step in this tutorial is to create a joint chain. So we'll go into uh, the side view for this and what we'll do is select the joint tool Make sure you're in the animation tab and it's just in animation here. So joint tool, make sure your settings are reset to their default. And um, we'll start off at the bottom of the neck here, so just there. Uh, the next one will be just around the ear. And the last one just at the very top of the head. And you can hit enter. Now I need to create a small joint chain for the jaw, so we'll, again we'll click on the joint tool. Instead of making one separately, we'll uh, select this middle joint to begin with, and then we'll um, create a joint at the start of the jaw, and then one just in the chin around there. Now we can uh, name these joints, we'll call this one the neck underscore joint. The next one we'll call the head joint and this one we'll call the end joint. And the jaw, we'll call this the jaw one joint and jaw two joint. Okay, the next thing we need to do is parent the eyes to this Joint, uh, joint chain as they won't be 
bound at all because they don't need to deform, they just need to follow the rig. So what we need to do then is select your first eye, hit up so you're into its group, then shift select the end joint and just hit P. You need to do the same with the other eye, select, hit up, shift select the end joint and hit P. So now when you're Joint, when you rotate your joints, your eyes should move with it. This will make more sense once the actual mesh has been bound to the joints, because it will follow with it. Okay, so now we've done that, uh, we I'm going to create an eye control, something that the eyes can just follow so that you can animate them easier. In order to do this, you need to just make sure your you've centered your pivots on both of them. I think I already have on here, but just to make sure. Um, and then we need to see the local rotational axes. In order to do that, we select the group, go into display, transform displays, local rotation axis. And we do the same with this one, select the group, and we can just hit G because it was the last command made. Um, if you can't see yours, it might be because you're in high quality or maybe you just need to go into show and show all. There you go, there they are. Now what we need to do is create two NURB circles that can be used as controls. So let's do that, we'll go into create NURBS primitives circle. And that's all the way down here on the grid. So we need to snap that up into the center of this eye group. In order to do that we just zoom in and then press W we just need to hold V and middle mouse click into the middle. You can see the nerves curve that's been snapped right into the center. Now we can duplicate that by holding Control D, and then we need to snap that into the center of this one by again holding V and middle mouse clicking right there. Now selecting both, we can rotate these 90 degrees in the x axis and then just move them forward. And we can modify freeze transformations and delete the history on them. So though those two nerves will now con will control the rotation of the eyes. The eyes will follow them. But now we need to create a control that will control both of these eyes together. So what we'll do is we'll just duplicate one of these controls by Control D, center it in the middle of both of these. Doesn't have to be perfect necessarily, but okay. Now scale it up a little bit, and I like to just customize these a little bit just so that they're uh, just looks nicer on the rig. So I'll just move these about maybe scale these middle ones down to give it more make it look a bit like binoculars okay there we go now you have your right eye control your left eye control and the main control freeze transformation on that and delete the history and we'll just name this um, master eye control I'll call this one the right eye control and this one the left eye control right so we need to next parent your controls to the master controls by selecting the NURB circle, shift selecting the master control and hitting P. It's the same with the left eye, shift select the master control, hit P. Now we need to connect these controls to the eyes. So in order to do that, we first select the NURBS curve, go into your outliner, um, find your eye group, wherever it is, there it is. So this is the right eye control, so we need to select the right eye group by holding control and go into constraint, aim 
Um, in your options, make sure maintain offset is selected and hit add. Now, when we move this control, the eye rotates with it. Now we need to do the same with the left eye, so select the control, control select the left eye group, and go into constrain, aim. Now, we that one will move with it. Now we have separate eye controls and also a master eye control which move, controls the rotation of both of them. We don't need to see this local rotation axis anymore, so we can select the group, both groups actually, in your outliner, go into display, um, transform displays, local rotation axis, and I'll just turn them off. Okay, so now we need to connect this master control to the rig so that it will move with the head when the head rotates. So to do that, we select the master control, shift select the end joint and hit P. And now that is all connected. Um, so what's next is we will bind this mesh to the joints. So what we'll do is we'll select the joint chain, all of these joints. Make sure you do not select the eyes or the control. So we just shift select all these joints here. And then lastly, shift select this mesh. And then we'll go into skin, bind skin, smooth bind in your options. Make sure it's, everything is reset and go into bind skin. Now when you rotate, you'll see it is bound, but the paint weights are not right at all. And that needs a lot of work. So basically what we're looking for is for this jaw joint here to be paint weighted so that it only opens this bottom half of the mouth and maybe has a bit of a deformation on the cheeks. Um, this head, head joint you want just to control the, uh, the head and none of the neck and this master joint will, will just have influence on the neck. So. Um, this isn't really a tutorial on paint weighting, so I'm going to pause the video here whilst I just paint weight this character and I'll um, play it again once everything is fully paint weighted. Okay, so I've basically given this a quick paint weight, it's nothing spectacular, I've just done it quickly for the purposes of the tutorial. But as you can see, this jaw joint now is able to just open and close the mouth. I've even given it a little bit of an overbite so the mouth will just overlap over. Um, you can also just rotate side to side and have a little bit of a twist in it as well. Then I've also given it this head control so that now moves up and down and side to side. And then your main control which controls the whole thing. So now that's done. Um, we can move on to adding the blend shapes. We can do that, you just make your layer visible. And what we need to do is just select each of these blend shapes by shift select in all of them. And then finally shift select your model and go into create deformers blend shape option box. We'll just call this face blends and hit create. Now that's done, we can hide that blend shape layer again. And to find these blend shapes, all you need to do is go into Window, Animation Editors, Blend Shape. And there they are. Uh, to see, if they how, see how they look and if they work, you just move these up and down, these little triggers. That's your smile. That's your sad your angry eyebrows and that's your happy eyebrows. So just to keep things neat and tidy we'll just name these so we'll call this one smile blend, call this one frown blend, we'll call this one angry eyes blend and this one, 
sad eyes blend yeah so the last step now is we need to connect these blend shapes to consume a control curve so that they're easier to use for the animator in order to do this we need to first of all go into the front view and then create a CV curve so I'm going to create CV curve tool now your default options will be set to three cubic but what we need is one linear so we'll click that and we need to hold X and that will grid snap and we need to just create a square by snapping to this grid hit enter okay we need to then center the pivot for that and just position it where we need maybe scale it up a little bit now we need we're going to need to have three of these um, one that will control the open and closing of the jaw one that will control the smile and the frown and another that will control the angry sad eyebrows so once you've got the scale right for your first one hit control D to duplicate it move it up now this one needs to be a rectangle instead of a square so we'll just scale that down and just move it down there and the last one hit control D again and just move it a bit further up once you've done all that you can select them all, freeze their transformations, make sure their pivots are centered and delete the history on them. Now we can just name them. This square will be the jaw control. This middle one here will be the happy sad control. Sorry about that. And this last one will be the I can I brow God eyebrow control. Okay, so now we need three control circles that will stay within the boundaries of these boxes. In order to do that, we select all three of those again, go to display, transform displays, local rotational axes and then create nerves from it is nerve circle which is automatically goes to the bottom here so holding V again we just middle mouse click into the center here and that will snap it right into the middle of this box you can then rotate it 90 degrees and scale it down once you're happy with that, you can just go to freeze the transformations and delete the history. Now this will be the jaw control. Duplicate that and bring it up. I'll snap it into the center of this one and then duplicate that and snap it to the top one we can call this one here the ah, I made a mistake these this should actually be called the jaw boundaries this here should be the happy sad boundaries and this one here the eyebrows boundaries sorry about that um, okay so this should be called the jaw control no sorry this should be called the happy sad control and this one should be called the eyebrow 
control. Okay. Once they're all in place, we don't need to see the rotation axes anymore, so select all three boxes, go into display, transform displays, ro um, local rotational axis. Okay, now what we basically need to do is connect this joint to this control circle so that when it moves down, the jaw will open, and when it moves up, it will close, and same with the side to side. Then we also need to connect these blend shapes, the happy, the uh, smile, and frown to this control so that when it moves to the right, the character will smile, and when it moves to the left, the character will frown. Then same with the top one with the eyebrows, when it moves to the right, it will be sad, when it moves to the left, it will be angry. Um, okay, so let's get started. The first thing we need to do is open up. Oh, actually, no, the first thing we need to do is set boundaries on these circles so that they will stay within the box. So, in order to do that, we need to find out where the boundaries lie. So, in the y axis, that is 0 0.84. So, if you go into your attribute editor, select the first tab and go into limit information you can tick both of these boxes which will limit the oh no that's wrong sorry make sure you're in your translate not your rotate and click on the trans limit y and set that to minus 0 0.84 and same with this 0.84. Now what you'll see is when you translate the circle in the Y, it will not go any further than minus eight point minus zero point eight four and zero point eight four. It's stuck between them. As this is a cube, it will be the same for the translate X. So in the translate X you need to tick both of these. And change the min to minus 0 0.84 and the max to 0 0.84. Now it will not go outside of this box. Now we need to do the same for the translate x on these two. Since they're the same size, it will be the same translate x minus 0 0.84 and 0 0.84 and lastly this one 0 0.84 minus 0 0.84 okay now these attributes are not going to be needed at all for this rig so what we can do is just select all of them right click and go on to lock and hide. What we can do for this one. Oh, it would have helped if I had freeze the transformations. Sorry about that. Um, select both of these, and all we need is to translate X. So select the rest, right click, lock and hide. And now, if you middle mouse click, you'll see you are limited to just going within this boundary box that we created. Okay, so now to connect it to the rig. We'll start with the jaw, <coughs> so selecting the circle we'll go into animate, set driven key, set. Okay, um, we want this to be the driver so we'll select the nerve circle and go on load driver then we will select the jaw 2 joint and select load driven um, okay so basically what we're looking for is when this is rotate translated in the Y we want this to rotate in the Z okay so in order to do that, we, collect, we select Translate Y on the jaw control 
and rotate Z on the jaw joint and hit key because that is the default position. Now we will translate this uh, jaw control to its highest in the Y and we will then rotate this jaw joint to its highest point which we'll call there. We don't want to rotate it too much because it will start to deform too much and just look stupid. So say about there, hit key, and we will bring this jaw control down to its lowest point, and in the jaw joint we will rotate it down, say to about to about there. Again, we don't want to do it too much because it will just start to look too deformed and the texture will stretch. We'll hit key. Now see. When we move this control circle up and down, it will open and close the mouth. There we go. Now we need to control the left and right. So in order to do that, we'll select the jaw control and find out which it rotates in. So that rotates in the Y. So we'll select translate X in the jaw control and the rotate Y in the jaw joint, hit key. Then on the jaw control we'll move it as far to the left as it will go and on the joint we will translate this just enough so that it doesn't start to look deformed. Say about minus 10. And hit key. Then we will move this jaw control to the opposite side and in the rotate Y it will go opposite so to 10 and hit key. Close. Now you'll see we have this controlling the open and close of the jaw. Now what we need to do, now that's done we can move on to connecting these controls to the blend shapes. It's also done using the set driven key, so if you open that back up, we select the first control and load as driver, and um, then you go back into your blend shapes, which is in Window Animation Editor's blend shape. If you hit select, we'll load that as the driven. So we want this one here to control the mouth blend shapes, so the happy and the sad mouth. So what we'll do is select translate X and we'll start with the smile and hit key. So we'll say when this control moves to the right the smile blend will turn on. So we'll put that to one and hit key. So now when this control move to the right, see the smile blend is activated. So that's that done. Now for the um, frown blend. So we'll select that and at its default position we want the frown to be on zero so we'll hit key and we'll move this control to the far left and activate the frown blend fully and hit key. So now when we move this left and right we get a happy sad blend on the face. And that's that one done. So the last one is the eyebrows. So it's the same thing again. Load the control as the driver and the blend shapes are already selected in the driven so that doesn't need to change. You just need to now select translate X and we'll start with the sad eyes. So hit key. And we'll have these go to the right. So we'll move the control as far to the right as it will go and activate the sad eye blend and hit key. So you see that works fine. And now for the angry eye blend, for the default position we want that to be at zero so we'll hit key and then we'll move it to the far left and activate the angry blend 
and hit key. And there you go. We've got an angry and a sad, and a happy and a sad now. Now, one problem that you may come across, I'm going to test this now, is if you open the mouth, your blend shapes will override the uh, joint controls. So, uh, it's a common error and it's really easy to fix. It's just basically your inputs are not in the right order. And the way you change that is by right clicking on your mesh, going down to inputs and going into all inputs. Now your blend shapes at the moment are above your skin clusters which is wrong which basically means your blend shapes have overpower your joint controls. So what you need to do is middle mouse click on your blend shapes and just put it under your skin cluster. And there you go. Now your joints will move and you will also be able to activate your blend shapes. Okay, so what we want to do now is have it so that, like the eyes, these controls move along with the head. Really simple to do. Basically what we will do is select the jaw control, shift select the boundary box and parent it by hitting P. And we'll do the same with the happy sad control, shift select the boundary box, hit P. And finally the eyebrow control, shift select the boundary box, hit P. Now we will select this jaw boundary box, shift select the end joint, hit P. We'll select the happy sad boundary box, shift select the head joint, hit P. And finally the eyebrow boundary box, shift select the jaw, the end joint rather, and hit P. So there we go. That will now move with the head. Perfect. The last thing we need to do now is um, we can close this blend shape window because we don't need that anymore. We just need to create a control curve to rotate this head joint. So once again we'll go into create no primitive circle which is right down here. In translate mode we will just hold V and snap it right into the center of that joint. And we will uh, scale it up and position it to where we want. For my model, because my head is quite a strange shape, I'm actually going to move this down a little bit so it's more in the neck area. Just position it accordingly. You will have to make sure though that your you snap the uh, axis into the jaw joint, that's quite easy to do, you just hold D and V, middle mouse click into the jaw, into the joint, and now your control curve axis is right in the center of that joint. We can now go ahead and freeze the transformations and delete the history on it, and just name this head control. Okay, so now we need to constrain it, or in constraint this control so that it rotates the head. Now to do that, we first of all select the joint, then shift select control curve, go into constraint, orient, make sure maintain offset is selected, and hit add. Nope, no you don't, that is wrong, I apologise for that. What you need to do is select your control curve first, shift select your head joint, Go into constraint and orient constraint. Now you can turn off your joints, and there you have it. You now have a head control. So now you have, there you go, a fully functional head rig. Obviously, with yours, you can spend a lot more time painting the weights and uh, maybe creating extra blend shapes. Um, but you get the idea of how to do it now. 
So, that was my tutorial. I hope you found it helpful. Please, um, if you're having any troubles with it, leave a comment and I'll try and get back to you as soon as possible. Um, so yeah, until next time. Bye.